Hello there. Today I show you how to use the KuCam Ego's YouTube Metadata Injector from Canal. First we go to the website and download the Mac version. I do have the SD card from the camera right here. Now in Finder we select Go Downloads, and we find the already unzipped folder from Canal. I just copy it to the desktop. Let's see what's in it. We find an underscore Mac OS X folder, and another YouTube metadata folder. In there we have the FMPEG software and output folder, a readme text file, and a run command script. Well, all of this is useless, except this YouTube metadata folder. Drag to the desktop and get rid of the rest. Garbage can, OK. OK, let's get this sorted out for you to see good. I grab the videos from the Ego SD card, and copy them into this folder. I hope you can follow me so far. If not, pause the video, and watch it again. You can read the readme file, and tell me later, if you understood what it says. Now we have the videos in the same folder as the command script. Let's try to run that. Apple does not like that for security reasons. Who wants malware on their computer? But wait. Let us try this. Right click on the file and go to open with terminal app. Same result, but this time we can override the malware blocker. For your peace of mind. There is no malware in there, I already looked at the code. We press open. Then we get this terminal window with the script results. And my computer is so fast, you almost can't see how quick that is. We can close that window, but if there are issues, you will be able to read about them in this window. Let's take a quick look in here. It says we ran this command. And then it processed this file here, and it ended up with this file name in this folder here. And it has a MKV file extension now. Then it found a second file with this name here. And it wrote the new file in this folder again with a new extension mkv. And everything was good, and the process, meaning the script completed. Perfect. Now where are the files? They are here in this output folder. You can upload those files to YouTube from your computer, and they will show a 3D icon in the lower right corner, and you can watch them in 3D. Don't forget to subscribe, or leave at least a like for this video. See you in the next one. Sayonara.